I ordered some stuff from Cinco Gearboxes and just got it in. Uh, pretty excited about it. It's a company out of the UK that uh, seems to specialize in like Land Rover parts and whatnot. But okay, here's an uh, adapter plate. I was a little excited, so I already unboxed it. And um, this is going to bolt to the back of the electric motor and give me a 1310 output so that I can bolt a drive shaft right to it. Um, I was actually working on something like this on my own. You can see I, I had 3D printed up a model that I was gonna gonna use, but whenever I found out that they had something that was already for sale, I decided that that'd probably be easier. And it's got a uh, it's got a bearing in here so that the shaft's supported on the way out, so that you don't just have a, a drive shaft out there flopping around on the end of the output shaft. So this is really well built anodized aluminum um the only issues that i have and i don't think it's from shipping because it was packaged very well is uh, there's some nicks and burrs and um a little bit of rubbing off of the, the anodization in places but overall very happy with this um, comes with all the hardware that you need to put it on. They've got a, a good video showing it going on. It's nothing too complicated. This part's very straightforward. You're just going to take your locating pins. Make adapter plate. Slides right on. Finds those pins. And your two through bolts go on this side. I didn't receive any nuts. I'm not sure if we were supposed to, uh, but I had some M10 nuts lying around. And these bolts are going to screw into the block. The RM8s. So, um, I'm going to go in a star pattern. Since this is an aluminum block, you don't want to. I'm gonna want to get super tight. These aren't as bad uh, since you have the, the nut on the back. But just make sure you're not stripping anything out. Snug. And she should be good. Uh, the only okay, so this is something else that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, this is the divorce transfer kit case for the LT230. Um, and it's pretty cool. I already got the rear PTO cover pulled off of this. Um, so the way this is, is going to work is this is going to go in. Should be a pretty tight fit. So it's going to go in like that. And then this M10 and the washer are going to go on the back to tighten it on. And then this flange is going to fit on just like that with the felt seal, the washer, and then the nut. And uh, I'm sure the nut's probably metric since this came from the UK, but my inch and 316 fits it pretty tight. I don't know what that translates to. 
because I don't have metric sockets that high. But um, looks like the inch and three sixteenths is gonna work, even though I really don't like mixing up the the metric and the standard stuff. So if you look at it from the rear, uh, I already pulled this cover off. So I'm just like that. Um, there were five bolts that were a 13 millimeter and the one on the bottom was a, a 15 millimeter. Uh, but right in the back there is, you are actually looking at the back of the, the shaft right now and that's where that, that nut and the washer are gonna go. So pretty simple, uh, very well machined. It fits right in and I'm gonna get everything tightened up and, and batten the hatches. Um, one quick note, something, um, just for anybody who wants to know what they're doing. The uh, input seal that it references replacing is gonna be this piece right here. And uh, this is the one that, that they give you. It's gonna go in just like that. Once you take that out and you, you look at the splines to see if there's any wear. Right. If you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, so while I was off camera, I tightened up the uh, the nut on the front, I, I put the backer plate on for a little bit to to give it some space so that it wouldn't keep pushing it off whenever I put tension on it. Uh, I locked the center diff and then just ran a screwdriver in between two of the studs in order to, to get it to hold solid. I'm actually gonna tighten this up. Okay, I, uh, I cleaned this off and I'm gonna throw some new RTV on it. Thing I forgot to mention was putting a little bit of grease on here first. Um, I didn't get that on the camera, but it just kind of gives it a little interface. But now I've got a 1310 flange on the back of the leaf motor, and I've also got a 1310 flange on the input of the transfer case. So hopefully, I can get the cab off and uh, start getting these positioned so that I can have some drive shafts made. Maybe get a resolve controller in here and see if we can make it move. Thanks.